Hey guys, Amy here, and um, this question came in in my um, my private HBA Facebook group for my team from DD. She she asked um, <clears throat> this question that I wanted to answer real quick, show you on a video real quick. She says, my mentor has an event coming up that we can invite people to. Problem is, it goes straight to her Zoom link. How can I get them on my list before they go to the Zoom link? Or what else can I do if that makes sense? And so um, my answer was, you can create a registration page with an opt-in form in the Funnel Builder, and I have some templates in the template section there. And so I wanna show you how this works, how easy this is. So you can do this if you're doing your own event or for anything else that you're promoting where you want to capture the lead before somebody go, you know, is given the, the goods really like right in this um, case, the goods is an event coming up that they can invite people to. Maybe it's some type of a training or something like that. So whether you're doing the training yourself or somebody else is doing it, it's always good to create like a registration page that you can capture the leads. I always think it's a good idea to move people onto your email list because basically when you're inviting somebody to an event like this, if they wanna come and they're opting into your email list in order to come, they're exchanging their name and email address in, um, in exchange for a ticket, in this case, in exchange for a Zoom link. Basically what that's telling you is this person is raising their hand and saying, yes, I am interested in this subject matter. I'm interested in this topic. And what's cool about that is now you're getting them onto your email list so that you can continue to provide valuable content for them about whatever your niche is and you know, offer them the products and services that you sell or whatever. So it's always good to have a capture page on the front of everything. And you know, you guys have probably heard me talk about this before. So in this case, Dee Dee wants to promote an event that somebody else is doing, but she wants to capture the leads on the front end. So it's very simple to do. So if you come into our funnel builder, you, um, you would just, when you come under funnels, we have all of these templates. You click add new step page, and you're gonna come into all of these templates. And you'll see on the left-hand side, all of the different categories we have for templates. So we do have some for webinar and event pages. But if you come under Amy Star Allen templates, these are my templates that I've donated, templates that I use myself in my own business that I've donated to the HBA Funnel Builder. So if you click on this section, you'll see these are a whole bunch of templates that I have in here um, for all different things. So if you scroll down to where it says webinar registration, I have, I have two different ones, this one and this one. So if you click preview, you can see what they look like. So here's one, and again, you would just come in, if you click select, it would add it to your funnel builder, and then you would come in and change out the title to whatever the event is, change out these bullet points to make sense for whatever the event is, change out the date, and you can change the colors, you can change the fonts, whatever you wanna change. This countdown timer, this event is now over, so the countdown timer um, is at zero, but if you wanna have a countdown timer going to the date, it's very simple to change this and then this form would connect to your autoresponder okay so that's one option and then there's another option here and this is just it's very similar um, to see how you can create just a simple registration page for people to get access to the event so the way that I do it is I would customize this page with the event that I'm promoting, and then I would connect this to my autoresponder. And then once they opt into this, I have a thank you page here too. So they would just get this thank you page that says, you are registered, congratulations. I will see you on whatever the date and time is, whatever the title of the event is. The link to the training page is on its way to your inbox. See you soon, can't wait. So. This is another thing that I always do when I'm when I'm capturing leads on the internet is on the thank you page, I always tell them to go check their email. I don't give it to them on the thank you page. Like I could put the Zoom link in, in Dee Dee's example right here on the thank you page, but I never do that. And the reason is because a lot of people will put in a fake email address just to get the Zoom link or just to get the PDF or the video or whatever it is that you're giving away 
if people really want what I have, it's an exchange, right? It's, it's not free. They can have it in exchange for their name and email address. So when they opt in, they get added to my email list and that way I can stay in touch with them about this event and about other things that I wanna stay in touch with them about and let them know next time I have a YouTube video that I wanna share with them or whatever. And if they give me a fake email address, I can't do that. If they give me a fake email address and I'm, give, I'm just giving them their thing on the thank you page, then I can't really serve them any further because now they've got the Zoom link and they can come get the free training, but I have no way to stay in touch with them because they didn't put in their real email address. So I always use a thank you page like this that basically says, you know, your, your goods are on the way to their email, to your email, go check your email. Sometimes I'll even go as far as to say, if you didn't put in your primary email address, click the back button and you can go enter it now. But here's the other thing that I do. Oh, this one doesn't have it, hold on. Usually on a lot of mine, yeah, these don't have it. On, on my lead magnets, I always have a little text box underneath that says, um, you know, your PDF will be sent to the email address provided so that they know, like that's where it's going. They're not gonna get it if they don't give me their real email address. And so that will eliminate issues a lot of the time as well. But anyway, it's super, super simple to um, create a registration page to put in front of your event and um, easily capture leads. And um, I also have templates in here if you wanna do like, this is a multiple day challenge registration. So I do challenges sometimes, like this is a four day challenge, short form video challenge that I did, right? So this is the exact page that I used and then I just had them add it to the template section so anybody can use it. But it's super easy and it's the same thing. So this is a four day challenge and I'm letting them know what the challenge is about. I've got the countdown timer, so this was from 2022 when I did this challenge, but you would change the date, you would change the countdown timer, you can change the colors. This is my brand color, but you could do whatever your colors are. And then I'm letting them know what they're gonna get when they sign up, and it's got the date. And then if they click, yes, sign me up in any any of these places, this form pops up where they can put in their, their name and email address. Again, if they wanna get into my challenge, they have to provide their name and email address. And, um, and so that's, this is a template that I've also got back there. And then I have the thank you page for that is here. Congratulations, you're registered. And then it says, here's what to do next. Join the Facebook group, download the guide to help you with your videos and invite your friends. And then I have a bonus that they can download this cheat sheet. And so that's my thank you page for this. And then I also have a recap page. So when I go through the challenge, what I do is I send whoever registered, I send an email every day to let them know that, that we're going live. And then after it ends, I send them a link to the replay and I put all of the replays on a recap page. So this is what that recap page would look like. I have a link to my Facebook group here, which is where the challenge was happening. And then I've got you know day one, day two, day three, day four, and this is where the replay video would go. And for each one, I have an action step, so I give them their action step, and I give them this guide that I created that's 50 plus short form video content ideas. So, um, so that's what my recap page looks like. And again, all of this is found in the template section. If you come to the Amy Star Allen template section, you're gonna find a lot. Your, my quiz templates are back here. My um, links page template that I use is back here. Like a lot of my stuff is back here. So it's very easy to, um, to customize these for, you know, to use for yourself. And just so you also know for the same question about the, the webinar registration, if you click on webinar and event pages, you'll see there are a whole bunch of other templates. These couple of them are mine. I think they've got, yeah, here are my two that I showed you and my thank you pages in here. But the rest of them are just other ones that are in here. And so you can go through and preview them if you don't like mine and you want to have it look different. And again, these are all customizable where you could come in and add your own images and colors and countdown timers and all the things. There's another one. You know, there, there's tons of them in here. So regardless of which template you use, I just recommend that you definitely capture the lead on the front end for anything valuable that you're giving away like that um, to build your email list with 
your target audience. Because if you're inviting people to an event that is in your niche, then the people that want to come to the event that are going to opt in are going to be people in your target audience. And so you'll be building your email list with people that are actually in your target audience. So um, the last thing that I'll show you real quick is just how easy it is to customize one of these pages. So let's just go back to my... So if you find a template that you want, you just select it. And then I'll just do test, um, test webinar. You just have to name it, add it to your funnel builder, and it'll just pop it in. So then like I would just come through and I would change all of the, you know, the text to whatever new text goes here. And I could just come through and I could change all of this out. And like, let's say I want to change the color of this. I could come under text color and I could select, you know, my brand color or whatever. If I want to change out the image in the background, you'll see there's the image but I would just, you know, get rid of that image and then I could come in and select a different image from my images. And then the countdown timer, if I click on edit, I can put in whatever the, the date, so this is 2021, right? So I wanna go, um, I need to get with the times here and get to where we are now. So let's say it's for May, well, we don't wanna go that far in advance. So let's say um, a week from now, and then you can change the time to be whatever you want, and you'll see it just it changes the countdown timer. Now, if I want to change the color of the countdown timer to match my brand, I would just select the color. And then this form, if you come under settings, you'll see it says Aweber settings here. This is my autoresponder. Um, if I click on this, it shows me all the lists. So I can select whatever um, list I want people to be added to when they register. And so that's how you do that. And then obviously I would want to um, change out the color of the button as well to match everything else. And there you have it. So that's how easy it is to change out a page. And you can change the fonts, you can change the size of the fonts, you can change everything about these pages in just a few um, clicks. And then you're ready to, to um, generate leads. So I hope this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.